Well, over on the far side of the track, they're just about ready for this discipline. The men's 200 metres, half a lap to sprint. No Usain Bolt here tonight, no Walter Dix, but we do have Tyson Gay in lane five. And the American, of course, the 2007 world champion, the silver medalist last year over 100 metres in Berlin. Returning to great form, good win over Asafa Powell in Gateshead two weeks ago. That was over 100. This is probably his better event, actually, Tyson Gay. Aaron Armstrong goes in lane one. Hasn't raced since May, the Trinidadian. He's 32 years old now. So he took an Olympic silver medal in a sprint relay in Beijing. Ainsley War for Jamaica goes in lane two. His first race for a couple of weeks. He's been in a reasonable form. 20.4 for fifth in Lausanne was his last contest. Sean Crawford goes in lane three. The Olympic champion back in 2004. He's 32 years old now, but... Uh, Still in pretty good shape. Sixth in Lausanne in 20.6 two weeks ago. Xavier Carter. Well, third in Lausanne in 20.1. As I mentioned a couple of weeks ago, he was only third in the American Championships, though, Carter. But that's a good lane draw, lane four. And he's inside this man, Tyson Gay. Second quickest man in the history of 100 metres in Gateshead. 13 days ago, he beat Asafa Powell in 9.93 into a headwind. Lost to Dix in uh, Prefontaine meeting uh, three weeks ago, but Dix are not here. More of that in a minute. There's Ryan Bailey, the American, only a youngster, 20.3 in uh, Nuoro last week. Then Wallace Spearman, silver medalist in the World Championships last year in Berlin, and three years ago in Osaka. He's the American champion too, is Spearman. Watch him in seven. I shouldn't, don't think he'd be too happy with that lane draw, frankly. And then uh, Johan Blake in lane eight third in Paris a week ago. He's only 19 years old, Blake, the Jamaican. And that's not a great lane draw for him either. He's 9.95 uh, he ran in Paris behind Usain Bolt and Asafa Powell. And uh, this is uh, season debut over 200 metres. That's Blake in eight, Spearman in seven, both of whom I think might run better than their lane draw as suggests here. Gay there goes in lane five. Very much the favourite. The lineup from the inside again. Armstrong in one, War in two, Crawford in three, Carter four, Gay in five, Bailey goes in six, then Spearman in seven, and on the outside in yellow, Johan Blake of Jamaica, just 19 years old. Gay in red, centre of picture. Well, quite a big chip twitch from Carter there in lane four, but they get away, and that's a great start from Gay. Great bend, he's run two, he's way up on Bailey. He's past Bailey. He's really gone for it here. That's a tremendously aggressive bend from Tyson Gay into the straight. The others are way back now. It's a battle for second place, but look at Tyson Gay. Watch the clock. This is very fast. Great running outside him there from young Johan Blake. 1973, it's another meeting record, but what a run from Johan Blake. I said that was a lousy lane draw for the youngster. He'll have gone under 20 seconds. He wasn't far down. So a meeting record for Tyson Gay after a very, very aggressive bend. I wonder, in fact, whether or not he didn't give too much in that first 100. I think maybe he misjudged it. They were coming back at him, and he's normally so strong down the straight. You shouldn't have a 19-year-old coming back at you like that when you're a former world champion. And uh, Gay, while he's returning to full fitness team, maybe just hasn't raced enough at this sort of level to get that racing brain absolutely perfect. I think he was too quick in the first 100. I think you're right, and you know how you can tell. And if Michael Johnson was sitting here, he'd probably explain this much better than I could. But just watch his transition as he comes out. He's right in the outside of his lane. His momentum takes him right the way out there. That's not a good transition into the home straight. And he attacked that man so much, put so much into it. He then had nothing left for the latter part of the race. He's coming under pressure from Blake. And it's good to see Gay in this sort of form, though. The belief is there. When Bolt's not here, he's starting to think, right, I'm going to really attack this. No problems with the hamstring anymore, freely running, but watch this, he's tired now. And the legs are just starting to buckle a little bit and Blake is coming and he's coming fast. He's not going to quite get there, there was only a few hundreds in it in the end. A big step forward for the young Jamaican, 19.78, a new personal best for him. Season's best for Tyson Gay as well, better run from Wallace Spearman also. But this bend, the first 50-60 metres was 
scintillating. This was him running 100 meters. And there was a little grimace there. Do you see, I was suddenly worried for a bit. There was a grimace in the face. Then it kind of relaxes again. But look how wide he is on that bend coming into the home straight. And Steve, at this level, you're talking about such minute, such tiny adjustments, aren't you, to uh, getting it right. The spread of your energy is over the 200. You cannot sprint it flat out. And he more or less tried to tonight. I mean, I, he wasn't holding back much at all that first 100, the first 120. And for somebody had said to sprint the first bend as hard as you can, I don't think he'd have been any, any quicker. Gay then, winning in 19.72, a meeting record ahead of the Johan Blake's first. Improved to in the uh, fifth round, but he jumped 840 last week. Nowhere near that today. I can't remember the last time I saw Tyson Gay run in red. It's a bit... Um, you get used to it, seeing athletes in certain strips and a different one for Tyson Gay tonight, at least not all wearing the same as usual but he is in superb form but at this point, you know he he hits the track so hard Gay, doesn't he? And I think in the 200 of course, they haven't run such a bend and if you start to run out of energy, you run out of it pretty quick I mean he held it together, he's trying to hold form now more than anything else he is coming under pressure, he's probably aware of it. It's almost a little turn of the head there at that point. But you can see how hard he's having to work here. This isn't the graceful running that you sometimes get from the likes of Bolt. It's all power from Gay driving down through that track. 